guys, what's up? Welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow. So we've all seen AMD's Ryzen 7 CPUs and they were pretty badass, especially for those people who did content creation first and gaming second. Now, for those people out there who are uber anal, really super duper picky, and they care for those few frames per second more, well then obviously an i77 and a few i5s actually did beat it in just raw gaming performance. Now, the thing about the entire R7 series though, is that a lot of AMD fans are fans of, let's just face it, they're fans of budget. They like being like the underdog, gives them a fighting thing to do, but they still like that great price point. Now, with these CPUs, they came into the market starting at $300 all the way up to $500, making them more expensive than a lot of the other, you know, Intel CPUs out there. So for raw gaming stuff and just gaming, obviously the Intel CPUs were just a wee bit better, you know, straight out of the box. Now you could overclock the shit out of your Risen and still, you know, start getting those scores, but that's overclocking your thing, taking your risk of it breaking, changing voltages, all that kind of crap, which some people out there, let's just face it, they just want to hop in their computer and they want to play. They don't want to fuck around with anything. They just want to play their games in the simple and best environment that they can do right out of the box. Now, Risen 5 is right around the corner. And this is where I feel AMD is really probably going to shine and kick ass and Intel's probably going to go, shit, what are we going to do about this? Because think about it. With the R5, they're going to cut away all that super fancy stuff that they had, you know, on the 1800X and they're gonna make this CPU much lower in price. Now, gaming performance, we all know, you can have 80,000 cores. It's not gonna really matter because most games are single thread. Very few of them take advantage of multi-threads. The ones that do, obviously, the higher you know cores is going to matter. But for the most part, having an eight core CPU versus a 12 core CPU versus a six core CPU, when it comes to sheer gaming, you're not going to see that much of a difference whatsoever. So if AMD can get the R5 out to the market and get it at a price that's so just unbelievably cheap that people are just going, fuck, I want that. I mean, let's think about it. Most people out there are very budget conscious. Some people just have all the money in the world and they'll pay for whatever they want because that's just the way they are. But I really think that most people, especially in countries that are, you know, I'm not trying to insult anybody, but saying third world countries or places where it's hard to get stuff, especially like places like Jamaica. I have some friends there, super freaking hard to get technology in Jamaica. I even think Africa is the same way. So if you're in one of those places where just money is not prominent, you want the best price to performance difference in. Honestly, I don't really think that if you're only going to see like four or five frames per second, unless you have a monitor or something that this just really matters, why would you buy anything else? So if Risen 5 hits the market and it's got a great price, I think it's gonna be the CPU for you. Um, I know I'm definitely gonna be trying it out. Um, I should be saving, I should be receiving uh, my test sample kits here very soon. So we will have all those scores for you this time on time for launch day and that everything's fixed with AMD. But I wanna know what you guys think. Do you think that AMD's Risen 5 CPU is going to be the CPU for you? I know a lot of people out there are highly anticipating this. I am as well, so I'm with you. So let me hear what you guys have to say. Do you guys feel that AMD's Ryzen 5 is going to be the sweet spot, especially for the gaming market? I mean, obviously, unless you're a super snoob and you those few frames per second matters to you, I think most people are gonna jump on the AMD bag and wagon and get themselves into some cheap gaming. I mean, if you can get a PC for almost the price of a console, I mean, come on. Now, I admit, lately I started playing console gaming again. It's pretty cool. But every time I tried to play a first-person shooter game, I just got frustrated as frickin' hell going, my God, I can't control this shit. Plus, I'm old. My fingers are kind of fucked up from playing guitar for years. So it's a bitch. So the mouse and keyboard thing for me is cool. So if you can basically pay for a mouse and keyboard setup, which obviously you can hook up any of those controllers to and still play your games, I think that's a much better solution than a console. I would probably never actually really buy a console anymore except for Rocksmith because I love that shit. Well, any days, I'm Elric. Anyway, anyways, I'm Elric. You guys are watching Tech of Tomorrow. I want to hear what you guys have to say. I think AMD's Risen 5 is going to be a freaking huge success. If the price is right on it and they can match up motherboards that'll still match that price, shit, they're going to have a solution on their hands that's going to really kick ass. And remember, Vega's coming as well. So more stuff for AMD coming here on Tech of Tomorrow. Peace out. We'll see you guys back for more tech tomorrow.